It's now my absolute pleasure to introduce a whisky some of you may know very well, Aberlour Abuna. Just to stress again that it's pronounced Abuna, and Abuna is Gaelic, and it means origin. And what do we mean when we say origin? Well, Aberlour has been here since 1879, and our aim was to produce a whisky that would be as close to the original spirit of Aberlour. Matured exclusively in sherry casks, as would have happened in the late 19th century. Non-chill filtered to give that beautiful mouth feel. And most importantly, it cask strength. So I recommend that you treat Abuna with the greatest of respect. That you tread carefully when trying Abuna for the very first time. This is a remarkable whisky. It's intense. It's robust, it's exotic. So let's delve in and see what we get. And first of all, look at that colour. Cast strength, all from first fill, Oloroso sherry casks. That beautiful ruby, auburn colour coming through. Now it is at cast strength, and I would normally add a fair bit of water to this one, but let's try it first of all without water. Let's just check in the percentage first. This is batch number 24, and we're at 60.2% alcohol. Now some of you are thinking, what age is it? Age isn't important. It's not important at all to Abuna. What's important is quality, and the exceptional quality of those sherry casks that are used in maturing the versatile and fruity Aberlour spirit. Enough talking. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. Coming through those sherry notes. Dark, dusty, fruity. And I'm even going to venture into the palate is 60.2%. It explodes in the mouth. There are so many layers to this. The oak, the sherry, the dark fruits, chocolate, praline. Let's add some water to it and open it up. Now it's 60%. I would recommend adding a great deal of water. Now some master blenders will nose and taste their whiskey at 20% alcohol. That's a good guide, adding the same amount of water as in the glass, but some spirits will need less. But Abuna certainly needs to be brought alive by some the addition of whiskey. So I've probably taken it down to about 35% alcohol, 30% alcohol here. So let's delve back in. You could get lost in there for a very long time, nosing and appreciating. And there comes through those spices, the nutmeg, the cinnamon, chocolate, praline, raisins, floral, fruity, dark, sherry. Let's try it. Magnificent, absolutely magnificent, and what a wonderful finish. This is a whisky you want to get to know intimately. This is a whisky that you want to be your best friend. It's magnificent. The oak remaining in the mouth, the dark fruit, great long finish. Everything Abuna promises, it delivers. <laughs> 